Adversity delivers truth and honesty because in adversity is where we find who we really are. Adversity introduces one to one's real, honest, and true self because we don't find out how strong we are when things are going well. We don't find out how resilient we can be while it's all sunshine and rainbows. No, the true test of a person's character, the true test of a person's true self is how do they behave? How do they respond? How do they act and think when things are not going their way? This is a great point of, of growth opportunities that most people miss all the time because one of the ways that I had to learn and experience this is we always hear this saying, right? Like, um, everything happens for a reason. Oh yeah, all things happen for a reason. The thing is, is people usually only say that when things are going well. You usually hear that when things are going well for people and they're getting lucky or they're getting blessings and miracles brought into their life. And they're saying, oh yeah, Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's right. This is so good. This is this good things happening to me because everything happens for a reason. It is very seldom, it is very rare when you meet an individual, when you come across someone who has that be their first thought, <clears throat> who has that be their underlying default mode network for when things go wrong, for when things are not going for them, as well as when things are going for them. Because when we have that default mode network to know that, hey, when things seem difficult, when things seem insurmountable, when things seem impossible, that everything happens for a reason. And when injuries happen, when sickness and illness happens, even when death happens, those can be some of the most difficult and challenging times <clears throat> for us to remember that everything happens for a reason. However, the only way that we can truly be in awareness, acceptance, and alignment with eternal truth and the purpose for our life is by accepting that everything does happen for a reason, especially the bad and especially the good. So how can you switch? How can you flip that, that framing? How can you flip your perspective on it to see that even when the Things that you might deem as bad or negative are happening. You know that they're happening for a reason. One of the best ways that I see this so often is, is when difficult people enter our lives, right? Like when we meet new people who are fun and who are like us and that we enjoy and enjoy being around and getting to know and spending time with, we think, oh yeah, this is happening for a reason. Oh yeah, this person came into my life. This is so amazing. All these positive reasons, right? Usually where most people miss the boat though, is when somebody who is difficult to deal with enters their life. When somebody who is difficult, who, you know, gets you fired up emotionally, who may cause, you know, certain feelings and, and thoughts to come up in your mind every time you even think about that person or hear somebody else mention their name. We have to remember everything is happening for us to help us and for God's greater good. So next time you find yourself in a situation where you're frustrated by the people around you, press into that, press into what are they there to teach you right now in this moment about yourself? What is it within you that you don't like about you that's causing you to experience external dislike or dissatisfaction with a situation or a person? This is an awesome opportunity for those who are highly hyper self-aware and who are committed to continual growth and development to be able to upgrade. I know for myself, for much of my life, I had a savior complex. I would meet people, I would date people, I would be trying to save everybody. And it wasn't until a few years ago, I realized this is something inside of me that's causing me to see it in someone else. I realized that that I was focusing so much of my energy externally on what I would see in others and then wanting to help them fix it, where I realized what's really happening is, is there's something inside of me that is out of alignment or needs focus and love and attention, and that misalignment 
or need is what's causing me to see it in others. And so I actually flipped the script on that and changed my entire behavior pattern to when I see things in others, rather than pointing out to them that what I see is their growth opportunities or flaws, however you interpret it, I just ask myself, hey, what is it inside of me that needs work in that area that's causing me to have resonance with seeing it in others? And it's incredibly empowering and uplifting because then all of the energy and effort gets put into making myself better, not into trying to convince somebody else that they need to be better. So I just wanna encourage you guys to really take the time to press into what it is inside of you, how you show up when adversity strikes, what real truth and honesty comes forth in you, and also being able to know that all things that happen to us happen to us for reason, for our good, and for the greater good of God, the grand creator of all. And one other quick area I wanna talk about where I see this in is one of the, the most exciting prayers when I hear people pray is when people pray for patience, right? People pray for patience and they don't realize what they're actually asking for is extra helpings of frustration and overwhelm and anger to enter their life, situations that will get them fired up and cause an impatient impulse so that they can then be taught more patience under pressure. Because God is a God of the process. He's not a God of the outcome. He's interested in the process, going through the process with us, not just the outcome. So that's another area where we gotta remember that everything is happening for reason and things happen for us, not to us. So I wanna close with a prayer here, friend, and encourage and inspire you to take action today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my friend who's watching this video right now, Lord God. Father, I thank that you are blessing them with a heightened level of awareness more and more every day in every way, that you are teaching them and showing them how to be a vessel for your Holy Spirit, to take fastidious care and stewardship of the holy temple you have entrusted them with, Lord. Father, help them to lift their vision higher, to see themselves the way that you see them, Lord to just know their heavenly identity and know that they are created for exactly this time and they are created for all the circumstances that they are working through in their life. They have been created to depend on you, to, 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 to walk them through those possibilities with your promise and your provision, Lord. So Father, lift their vision higher to know their heavenly identity, to boldly and courageously take the land in your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. I bless my friend. Amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed and be a blessing. I love you guys. Get to work and you will always shine brighter.